Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Claire Taylor and the dolls I share here are dolls I make myself by hand. I sculpt them, mold them, root them, everything. And in this video I'm going to share something I've never shared before. I'm going to share a little bit of the process of making a silicone doll because um, the feedback I'm getting from my messages and emails is that a lot of the new collectors do not understand that these dolls are handmade artist dolls and that they take time to make and especially in my case I don't have many dolls available and um, they are always asking when the dolls are coming back in stock and when are we going to order more in because they don't realize that these are handmade dolls and so they just expect them to be there and the other thing too is that they expect it to be priced as though it's a manufactured doll and it's not so I just short thought I would share my process so that there could be more understanding also um these pictures you're seeing are pictures of the clay after I sculpted the doll. So um, what we do to reproduce the dolls in silicone, we have to make molds. Now, I never thought of showing the whole process before the molds were made. I thought of it after. So I started to take little pieces of video and pictures and stuff while I was making the doll in order to share but I don't have any of the molding process and just a little bit of pouring because um, I never thought to get a lot of that so I just got a little snippet and I'm going to show you while um, the pictures are being shown I'll explain to you what's going on. Now the first thing you do after make, making the molds is to pour the molds. And we say pour because the silicone is a liquid and you mix part A and part B together and add the color and then you vacuum it, suck out all the bubbles and then you pour it into the mold. Now um, while we're watching this part the, the silicone being poured into the mold. I'm going to ask you to click below to subscribe and also ring the notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos because maybe you'll see something interesting. So here we're pouring the mold and um, after we pour the mold then we um we have to clean it thoroughly and then um set the eyes for on and then we start painting them now this is a cloth body mold so the pieces are separate it's not like a full silicone doll because i just happened to do this filming while i was doing a cloth body doll this time so after we pour the mold we leave it for you know many hours so the silicone cures and then we clean it and then we start to paint and um, we have to paint all the separate pieces and I don't know how other people do it but I paint by hand with a paintbrush because I think I can get more details and have more control of what I'm doing when I use paint brushes. So we paint with platinum silicone, a special platinum silicone paint that will um, would adhere to the doll and stay there even if the doll is stretched or anything. While we're painting we have to be sure to keep it clean because the silicone is like a magnet so the area has to be very clean while we're painting and sometimes you might see me taking a tweezer to pull little 
things off because if a little hair or anything gets on the doll you have to pull it off so it doesn't cure there and make an ugly mark so I'm wearing gloves here because I just don't like the silicone to get on my hands sometimes I don't wear gloves but you know a lot of times I do and this is just one of the layers you can see that paint is on the doll before this is just you know one of the times I chose to take video of me painting the doll so I painted quite a few dolls because I've been working on this edition for about two months I've been working on other stuff also but you know it took a while for me to get to this point with this doll and um, as I said we're doing the awake and the asleep and you can see that if you look closely you can see the veins and everything there were many other layers put on the doll before I was doing this layer this is when I thought of doing some video to share um, you know the painting of the doll so it's a long process and I sped this up, up quite a bit so you're seeing um, I guess time lapse of me painting the, the different parts of the doll so um, now that I've completed the dolls I just put them together and you will see them at the end of the video um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I have to set up the web pages to post all the pictures and then I have to put up all the information for all of the dolls so that I can offer them to be sold but before I can do all that I have to take some more videos of the individual dolls and um, do the web pages and that's going to take a little while so here here is um, one of the sleepers I'm blushing so you can see you know after I did the previous layer now I'm doing the blushing you know it takes a while <laughs> because you have to do all the painting in layers and this is just um, I think the first blushing layer because there there is not just one there's more than one and this is a different doll and I think this is the second blushing layer on that doll. <laughs> You'll see them all finished in the end briefly. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and set up the web page and um, when the dolls are finished uh, like all of the pictures and everything are done I'm gonna put up the information on my website and I'll send out an email and then um, tell you when the dolls will be available I guess I can make some available tomorrow but I'll just have to put them up gradually and send out emails so you can know which doll is available because I have to have it packed and ready to go and I have to do the videos and everything before then and um, there are quite a few of them so 
it's interesting <laughs> for me to um, go back and look at these videos because I don't think about all this <laughs> when I'm um, when I'm doing all the painting and everything I don't think of the time involved or how many times I have to paint the eyebrows how many times I have to do the cheeks and stuff like that I don't I don't think about it so I don't realize how much time goes by while I'm sitting there doing all this painting and stuff because if you look you can see all the details on the doll you know like in the video you're seeing me do the the toenails once <laughs> but I did the toenails on 16 little feet well not yeah not 16 on um, yeah 16 but I had done more but those dolls aren't finished rooting as yet because the rooting takes quite a bit of time so I have two more that are almost finished after these and I will um list those before I move on to make some more and I have I have one kit coming that I'll share after um, the dolls after the dolls are sold I will share um, that kit it's it's something new and interesting I'm trying out and um, I just want to see um, if you all will like it so this is the hardest part of the cold painting process the matting and after you do all this painting if you're not careful you can mess up the whole doll so you have to be very careful when you mat the doll so anyway I'm <laughs> I'm looking at it and it's like I'm holding my breath hoping it's gonna come out okay but it did come out okay <laughs> when when I filmed it it's 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 a very difficult thing if when you're when you're doing the matting and the um and it goes bad so we have to be very careful when we're doing this part If you don't do it just right you can get a lot of places that don't get matte or too much matting powder can get stuck to your piece and then it looks like the doll has rashes all of the accessories also have to be made and many of them are handmade as you will see when your doll arrives you will see many of the different things are handmade like the headbands and the pacifier clips her name is rain and rain um rain can work i think as a boy or girl but i'm just doing them all as girls you know it makes it easier to put the the addition together but you know because it's a non-gender specific doll it doesn't have a, a gender on the belly plate you can make it a boy or a girl I guess if you want to so here I'm painting the um the pacifier clips I'm making them for her I'm sorry I think I keep bumping the camera and I didn't even notice it so 
No, I'm doing the routing. The routing, I think, takes the longest time. And um, this is sped up a lot because, <laughs> trust me, nobody roots this fast. <laughs> I wish I could, though. I really do. It would save me so much time. But, um... This is how this is how I do it. I'm not gonna say I'm a perfect router, but I think I do pretty good. Anyway, I think I'll just um work on getting the rest of the pictures so I can put them up on the website. I'm seeing that I use the tweezers a whole lot more <laughs> than I thought I did. Because, you know, sometimes you pick up too much hair at once and then you have to pull them out. But this is just to show, you know, new collectors, they come and they see the doll so beautifully done. They don't realize how slowly, how many hours and hours and hours it takes to root a doll. And, you know, not just getting the hair, the hair in there, but to make it look nice and look natural. You can't get more than one, maybe two hairs in every follicle. And this is speeded up a lot. So it really does take a while to do the rooting. And for me, I think I'm slowing down with the rooting because sometimes I get like carpal tunnel flare up and I have to not root for a little while because my hand my hands go numb so this is just the different dolls you know because I rooted eight of them that you'll see so over a long period of time I've been um, I think I started rooting in December so, this is a different doll that I'm rooting here. And, you know, it's just to show you the, um, how long it takes, how tedious it is. I think it's, um, you spend more time probably I don't know. I don't know what takes longer, the rooting or the painting. But then it depends on how many layers and how detail, how much details you put in your painting. But I've I've become good at rooting. I don't stick myself with the needle anymore. <laughs> After all these years, I used to stick myself a lot. Maybe it was when my kids were younger and they used to distract me a lot. I don't know. But I don't do it as much anymore. So I think how I'll do it is I'll just put up the the dolls that I have available. As I put up a couple listings, I'll send out emails. I think I'll do it like that because maybe I'll put a couple up tomorrow because it's too late already today. Today is th today is Thursday, the the tenth, and we're in 2022. So if a couple years from now you come along and see this video <laughs> don't email me or post I'd like to get that <laughs> because it will be gone so um maybe on Friday which is an unusual day I'll just go ahead although it's usually a quiet day I'll go ahead and just post what I have available and then maybe I'll post some more on Sunday Yeah, tomorrow is going to be a short day. Just realized. 
I have an appointment <laughs> that I have to do tomorrow. So it will be a short day tomorrow. Maybe I can get a couple up tomorrow. But I'll take as many pictures as I can. Okay, now, these are the dolls that are finished. And I'm just sharing them with you so you can see them, see what they look like. But I haven't taken the pictures as yet. I just took a picture of the first one there on the right. That's the only one I got pictures of. the, And it was only a couple snapshots that you saw in the beginning. I used um, the picture to make a um, thumbnail. So I'm going to go back and take some more pictures while this video uploads because it's taking forever for my videos to upload lately. So how much is that? Six? Wait. No, that's seven. That's number eight. Oh. I see how way off it is now. It's not easy to take a video of eight dolls at once. It's not easy. But there they are. So, starting from the right, the first three are Caucasian, and then we have a AA, two biracial, and then two more Caucasian dolls. So, hopefully, people will be interested in them, and they will find a home. I think this doll is so sweet. And uh, you know when I was talking about the rooting and saying how tedious rooting is, I do enjoy rooting. It's, I don't know why, it's very peaceful. Although it takes a long time, it, it does give me peace when I root. I like to see the um the hair be put on the doll because it it is like they look alive when you paint them and then they look even more alive when you mat them and then they look even more alive when you put on the hair I'm looking at them and trying to figure out which one is my favorite. I don't have any favorites. <laughs> I like all of them. Let's see. This one here that I'm putting the diaper on is very cute. Her hair is like a auburn brown. Very nice. And I really had to make an effort to root some of them sparse because I think I usually just put a lot of hair, but some of the babies needed to have sparse hair because it brings out the look that I like. These babies are about, I think, 20 inches, but all that details will be in the 
on the web page so you'll know their size and everything and their average weight and all that I'll put that on the website. Thanks for watching.